Welcome to lesson four, and it's our last lesson, which is exam practice. We're going to review statistical inference and complete various review questions. Example nine. The heights of women can be assumed to be normally distributed with a mean of 162 centimetres and a standard deviation of 13. Scrub a distribution of the sample mean for a sample of size 36. And note, in this case, sigma, population standard deviation is known. First of all, we're going to assume that the sample mean is going to be approximately equivalent to the population mean, which is 162 centimetres. Work out the sample standard deviation given that sigma is known, is 13 over the square root of 36, which is 2.167. Calculate the probability that x bar will be within 3.25 centimetres of the mean. We're going to go above 3.25, that's 165.25 centimetres. Take the mean divided by the standard deviation, which is z square of 1.5. Using technology, using z scores, probability that z score lies between 1.5 and negative 1.5 standard deviations is 86.639%. Example 10. The mean of a sample of 144 items was 35 with a standard deviation of 11. Determine a 95% confidence interval for the population mean. Here we've got our S because we don't know population standard deviation. Our S was 11 and our sample was 144. So our standard deviation for a sample is 0.9167. Now the interval is going to be 35 plus or minus 1.96 because we're choosing a level of 95% confidence. So that's our Z score. And here is our standard deviation of our sample. So we're going to apply that formula. And if you do that manually, you get the following values. Intervals between 33.2 and 36.8. And using technology on the Casio, we get the same values here just to prove it. Example 11. Determine what size sample is required to ensure a margin of error of 1.6 points or less at a 95% confidence level. Assume that sigma is 12. So our number is z times sigma over the error, all squared. So 95% z is 1.96, sigma is 12, and our error is 1.6. Evaluating that, we need a sample size of approximately 216.09. Environmental poll states that the results are within a margin of error of 3% at a 95% confidence level. Determine the margin of error at a 90% level. So 3% is equivalent to 1.96 Z score, which is 95% confidence, times by the sample standard deviation. Dividing both sides by 1.96, we get that to being approximately 0.5. 0.153. The margin of error we want is at a 90%. That means our Z score is going to be 1.645 times by the sample standard deviation, which was the 0 0.15306. Hence, our margin of error would be only 0.0252, or about 2.5%. So, margin of error at 90% will be a margin of error of 2.5% approximately. If there are 20,000 Queensland Year 12 students studying history and the average score for the final exam out of 100 is 67.4 with a standard deviation of 8.9, calculate the sample mean and standard deviation if samples of size 36 are selected. Note this is a case where apparently the population mean and standard deviation are known. So expected value of our sampling means is going to be mu, 67.4, and our standard deviation is sigma over the square root of n, which is 8.9 over the square root of 36 is 1.4833. Arnold has a sample of the standard deviation of 1.444 and calculates a 95% confidence interval to be between 20 and 21. Determine the size of the sample. Here we have a Z score of being 1.96 because we have a 95% confidence interval. Now X bar is the average of 20 and 21, which is 20.5. Hence, if I want to see how my sample mean plus the margin of error, what it must have been to produce an upper value of 21, I can use those values. So Z is 1.96, S is 1.44, and I just don't know what N was. Now if I subtract 20.5 from both sides, and then if I rearrange this equation where I make the square root of N equal 1.96 times 1.44 divided by 
square both sides, and I get 32.04 was the sample size. Example 15. A sample of 72 people find that they spend an average of $132 on clothes for Christmas with a standard deviation of 25. Use these statistics to determine a 95% confidence interval for the mean spending. So a sample standard deviation is 25 divided by the square root of n, which is 72. Evaluating that, it's 2.946. A mean of our sample was $132. So our interval at 95% confidence is a z-score of 1.96. We substitute our values in. We can now use our margin of error being 1.96 times 2.946. And our values range between $126.23 and $137.77. Well done. That's the end of statistical inference. Good luck on all your examinations.